Daily devotion with Pastor Bala for September 21st, 2021 from Psalm chapter 63, Longing for God. Verse 1, O God, you are my God. Earnestly I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh faints for you as in a dry and weary land where there is no water. So I have looked upon you in your sanctuary, beholding your power and glory. The psalmist begins by saying that his soul thirsts for God. There is a strong longing for God, for we were created by God. Our souls desire to return to God. But where is God to be found? The psalmist notes, in the sanctuary, that is, the church, the place where believers gather around God's word and sacrament. Notice the words, beholding your power and glory. You see, it is the power and glory of God that does flow through the church. Why? Because through the church is the message of the forgiveness of sin. Sin is what separates us from God. That's why the soul is longing. It's struggling with that sin. But when we come to church, when we receive the power and glory of God, we are receiving the forgiveness of sins and we are reconnected to God. And this is exactly what the soul needs. Verse three, because your steadfast love is better than life, my lips will praise you, so I will bless you as long as I live. In your name, I will lift up my hands. Is God's love better than physical life? Yes, it is, for a couple of reasons. Our physical life is indeed much better when we are basking in the love and forgiveness that comes from God. Another major reason is that of eternal life with God. And I'm sure there are also many other reasons. Yes, being connected to God is more important than life itself. Verse 6, my soul will be satisfied as with fat and rich food, and my mouth will praise you with joyful lips when I remember you upon my bed and meditate on you in the watches of the night. The psalmist is being a little poetic here, but making a beautiful connection. The satisfaction of a large, think of family meal, and stuffed at the end of that meal, and how happy you are, and making that connection to what it's like to be connected to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Verse 7, for you have been my help. And in the shadow of your wings, I will sing for joy. My soul clings to you. Your right hand upholds me. Here's a reaffirmation of God's continual help and assistance in our lives, in which results in praises to God Almighty. Verse 9, but those who seek to destroy my life shall go down into the depths of the earth. They shall be given over to the power of the sword. They shall be a portion for jackals. But the king shall rejoice in God. All who swear by him shall exult, for the mouths of liars will be stopped. There's even a note here about the destruction of the enemies. Yes, God does indeed care for us. Our souls are happy when we are connected to God. And there's an interesting reference to the king in that last verse. As Christians, we rejoice when we can freely worship and praise God without any limits imposed by the government in what we can say or do. So when the king rejoices in God, like say King David in the Old Testament, the souls of the people also rejoice. God's peace and many blessings be with you. And thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, 
please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.